And put your hands together for my good friend, Nick Yusuf. Yes! How is everybody doing? Awesome. Yeah, I will be your, uh, your Lebanese comedian for the evening. Do we have, oh, we have some, that's good. That is awesome. I, uh, the last time I actually mentioned to an audience I was Lebanese, uh, a very, very nice Israeli fellow um, actually occupied the stage I was on, which is a little weird. Yeah, it was, uh... He built a very nice settlement over in the back. Um, he put up a really big fence though, so I couldn't like move around anywhere. It was really weird. But he said it was for everyone's good. So you know whatever, you take from yeah, that's cool. Lebanese keep an eye out, all right, they're they're here. Okay. Love it! Just just so I can feel the thunderous applause, where are my Persians at? I had to feel that for myself. I'm not even Persian. Lebanese, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. Man, we've, uh, the Middle Easterners have come a long way, dude. This is it. There's an axis of evil tour that's so awesome to me. I mean, six years after 9-11, you know, it's like, it's at this point right now, which I think is great. I remember, and honestly, I remember six months after 9-11, I was performing on stage at the, uh, at the comedy store, like up in LA. And in LA, it was weird to have it happen. Someone yells from the audience at me, you're a dirty towel head. I'm not even kidding. I was like, wow. And it wasn't even one of my friends. I'm like, are you serious, man? That's not cool. And I was, I was a 19-year-old kid at the time. I'm like one year into comedy. So like, in my head, I'm all paranoid. I think I'm like, I'm gonna walk down the street and get beat up by a bunch of rednecks with like, cowboy hats, you know, like, well, I don't know what to do. So I'm getting more paranoid, and then I'm like acting extra patriotic. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? I've always had a flag t-shirt. What are you talking, you know? Like distancing myself from my parents, you know, because they'd be like, Nick, you're the proud Lebanese person. You're the Yusuf. Do not let anyone tell you. I'm sorry, have we met? Hi. Yeah, my name is Nick America now. I don't know. Uh... So if we could wrap this up, I have to eat a piece of apple pie on a tractor because uh... <laughs> now things are way better. I'm finally part of a, a, an ethnicity that is incredibly marketable in Hollywood, and I think that that is awesome. Dude, I go to an audition now, and they just look at me like, Nick, we love the beard. It just screams evil. It is so great. <laughs> Do you by chance have like a death to the infidels look we can see really fast? Perfect, kiddo. Congratulations, you just booked yourself a McDonald's commercial. How does that sound? <laughs> I'm taking my roots from Lebanon all the way to fucking Beverly Hills. So I can hang out with all you Persians. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Alright, I need to do this really fast. Uh, this is the first time ever in my uh, history of doing comedy that my mom, dad, and brother are here. So give a round of applause to them. And my cousin, who moved to, uh, just moved to Vegas. Who's at, this is the first time they've ever seen me perform and I need to, uh, you know, thank them for coming, obviously, and uh, just tell them, you know, that I love and support them uh, for coming out and watching me do this. And I say this obviously because uh, Christmas is like right around the corner and I really need an iPhone. So uh, yeah, mom and dad, I love you. <laughs> yeah, they're here, man. They, they support me fully, man. They really, really do. Now. A few years ago, different story. You know what I mean? They're, they're like, they grew up in Lebanon. You know, like life is a totally different thing. You know, they didn't expect me to be doing this, you know, they moved to the land of opportunity and they're holding me as a baby like I'm an eight pound, six ounce lottery ticket, you know what I mean? This, oh, the son would be doctor, lawyer, and maybe real estate agent, something like that. <laughs> and then I turn 18 years old, I'm like, I'm gonna tell jokes for a living! That day they both cried red, white, and blue tears. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> the dream is dead! We used to argue so much, man. I'm always like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make it in Hollywood. I have a dream, I have a chance, I have talent. And my mom would just sit there and go, I don't believe you. 
right? And I'm like, well, why not? And she'd be like, well, for starters, sweetheart, um, your apartment is inside of our house, okay? And uh, yeah, I'm in my room looking at where you live. Please clean that up. It was rough, dude. Especially like, I mean, you live in a home with your parents. Like, try meeting, a, after arguing, you go do a show and you meet a hot girl, you're like, yeah, baby, come on, why don't we have a glass of wine, hang out for a little bit, and then, uh, you know, have sex in my race car bed. What do you think of that? Because, uh, I think it all high and mighty. It's a Formula One, just waxed it. All right, let's go. Now they're cool. We, you know, we joke around now, you know what I mean? Where I was like, I was worried about like getting drafted like six months ago because, uh, our president wants to turn the Middle East into a Chevron. So, uh, I don't know if you guys are watching, yeah. So, I tell him, I tell my dad, I'm like, God, I'm worried I'm gonna get drafted. And as a joke, he's like, good, the real job, when can you start? Uh, right? And I'm thinking, like, how weird would it be to get drafted there out of all places? Like, I'm in camouflage, I got this big fat gun, and I just kick down a door, nobody move! Uncle Fareed? Oh my God! So I guess those are my cousins I shot on the way in. Okay, that's uh, gonna be weird for family reunion. I'm a pretty political guy. I actually have uh, an idea for if we need more troops in the future, um, which hopefully we won't. But if we do, don't have a nationwide draft, you guys. You know what we should do? Send the state of Ohio. <laughs> yes, okay. They got us into this mess, let them go. I'll sign up for that. I'll go knocking on every door in that state. Hey everybody, yeah, hey, remember when you wanted Bush back for four more years? Well, guess what? You got them and everything that fucking comes with it. Yeah. Put down the cornbread and the Bibles and get in the goddamn van. Let's do this. You too, Grandma. You can still stand. You can still fight. Let's go. And then when they come back, no more Ohio, everybody. It's one giant snow cone factory, and we're only serving blue. All right, guys. Thank you very, very much. Enjoy the rest of your night. I have a big pizza.